What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. Today we got some more playoff packs back, so we're actually gonna, going to do a variety packs opening. So basically, what I did is I saved up all of the Kobe Bryant packs that I got from yesterday's event. Then I got my five playoff packs, and then we have 10 extra hoops packs just to add in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and open the hoops packs first, see if we can get one of those spotlight players. Uh, I would really like that Russell Westbrook, but we'll have to wait and see. So we will go ahead and jump on in, see if we can get some good pack luck. Uh, not great off the start, but that's all right. We got a ways to go. Really hoping that I can get that 70 or uh, 89 Kobe finally. Apparently, somebody. Oh, there we go, John Wall, third pack. All right. So, uh, all right, made back half of our money for hoops packs already. So that was a good pull. Uh, yeah, apparently somebody got an 89 Kobe off of the auction house for like 800k, which is insane. Ooh, and a Marcus Saul. Wow. All right, so we're doing pretty good to start off. Um, yeah, so 89 Kobe for 800k is like 2.2 million coins in profit because he averages about 3 million, at least on my server. So, oh, there we go, a playoff card. All right, we are getting some good pack luck today. Uh, hoping that carries over to the Kobe packs. Another good one, we get an impact card along with a gold. Let's see if we can get something good in these last couple packs. Haven't been posting as much because there still hasn't really been that much new content other than the Kobe events and the playoff packs. So I'll probably do episodes whenever there's playoff packs and new content and spotlight players. But aside from that, not a whole lot to talk about. All right, starting off with Emmanuel Ginobili. That one will be good because his team is probably going to at least the conference finals. Uh, maybe even farther. Depends on how long Steph Curry's out. We get another Manu Ginobili. So again, not a bad pull. It would be nice to get that Clay Thompson. He's been playing really well with Steph out. We get Joe Johnson there. It's a little disappointing. I'm really hoping that my Hornets finally take down the Heat. They've won three straight, just beat them at home last night as we get another Manu Ginobili. All right, can we get a little variety here? Give me that Clay or maybe a Kevin Love. <laughs> another Joe Johnson. All right, so no variety in those packs. All Joe Johnson and Manu. Let's see if these Kobe Kobe Bryant packs will give us something good. Starting off, nothing good. Uh, just a little to talk about with the playoffs. Another bad pull. Uh, Clippers got Chris Paul and Blake Griffin out, so Trailblazers will probably be able to take care of them pretty easy. Uh, so I'm guessing the Trailblazers will go on to the next round. More crappy pulls. Thunder already on to the next round. Uh, Warriors are on to the next round. I'm guessing the Hornets will finish off the Heat tomorrow night. All right, one more or two more Kobe packs. Let's see who else. I believe the Hawks are up 3-2 on the Celtics. I would like for the Celtics to win, but it's going to be tough for them down 3-2. But they will be at home, so I'd say they have a chance. And another terrible pull. All right, well, uh, so those Kobe packs were a little disappointing. Playoff packs were all right, nothing great. Uh, just taking a look at what we have. Still got that Kobe card. For some reason, I can't get this Carmelo Anthony to sell. Apparently, he has like a super low price. Got that John Wall that we pulled, that Marc Gasol. Uh, a few other cards I can sell. I'm totally stacked on playoff cards. So once that event gets here, I'm going to make so many players, hopefully. Assuming I don't need a ton of other stuff. But we'll have to wait and see. This, that's probably going to be it for this episode. No new events. Got award winners and the playoff event. So usually don't play either of those. Uh, let me know if you guys have any comments or questions. Uh, what you think's going on with the playoffs. Any predictions. Let's see. Teams I missed. Cavs already finished off the Pistons. And I think that's it. Oh, Raptors and Pacers. Uh, Raptors up 3-2 on the Pacers. Uh, if DeRozan and Lowry are able to pick it up. Uh, they were really slack in the first four games, but if they can pick it up, they should be able to easily take care of the Pacers. So that's about it for my playoff predictions for now. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.